Now that you have your bobbin wound, you're going to insert your bobbin into the machine. So the first thing that you do is you're going to set the bobbin in. Make sure that it's going counterclockwise. If you have it in and it rotates clockwise when you're moving it, just flip it over and put it in so that it's rotating counterclockwise. Next, you're going to go in through this slit right here and then come up and just tug it tight between those tension discs. When you tug on it and you pull it, it should go down about an inch. If it goes down more than that, it's too loose and you'll need to tighten one of these screws just about a millimeter with a small screwdriver. If it doesn't move at all, then you're going to need to loosen it. Next, I'm going to open this up so that you can see inside. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the bobbin back in like this and then there's a pin that it goes into that will insert here. This opening part of the bobbin should be at a 12 o'clock if you're imagining a clock inside of the machine. Now this little flap is going to lock it. Once it's in, you're going to lock it. On a normal machine, you would use this flap and you would open it and put it in beforehand, but with these, the thread tends to get caught in here. So all we're going to do is I'm going to tip it back, insert it in, Pull the lock and that's it.